All right, guys, I'm accompanying Coco. I'm going to get my lips done. I've been thinking about it, not like a lot excessively, but just a little bit. And I finally got an appointment with one of like the top surgeons who I trust. I'm gonna take this chance and just go to the appointment. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna vlog for her. So. I'm scared. I'm like throwing up. Okay, well, stay tuned. I am so nervous. It's so nice here. I can't find seven of What's right here? Oh my god. So I'm gonna do just a little bit. We'll go over the details. I'm gonna give you a mirror right now. Your lower lip's pretty nice and full, kind of bubbles out nicely, it's a good pout. Your upper is a little bit recessed and kind of flat. So we're gonna just fill some of those contours. So do you see how this pouts out? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see how this is flat and recessed in? Mm -hmm. So what I wanna do is just create this little bit of a roll. You know, mm -hmm. very natural. We don't wanna to put too much here. You already naturally have that little white roll. Mm -hmm. And if we, what I see all the time, which I can't stand, is people put filler above the lip. Same. See how this is heavy already? Yeah. And if you put even a drop of filler here with the swelling that it causes and the lymphatic flow blockage, this gets all puffy and then your lip kind of looks heavy here. Yeah. We want to really focus on the central half of the lip from here to here, the two tubercles. This is already nice. If I need to trickle a little at the end here, we will, but we're just going to focus more on here. And get this to roll and I love that you have what's called incisor show have your mouth slightly open mm. do like kind of like a slight mm. open mouth oh I have food in my mouth oh you do what are you eating oh you had food in your mouth don't worry about it <laughs> see how your upper teeth show mm -hmm. so that distance a lot of people do these lip lifts to get that you mm. already naturally have that so we're gonna enhance that even more she's gonna take your photos get official consent we're gonna do Juvenile Ultrax C okay all right, we'll see in a little bit. Sit up straight, shoulders back. Bring your chin up just a tiny bit. Sit back on the chair and I'll do my nummy clean. Don't tell, don't tell my boyfriend. I really Should can't I feel my in? lips at all. Yeah, okay. yeah let's do it. Bring the syringe out and I'll kind of have it in my hand. Just Perfect. kind of doing it. So let's let that sit a little bit more. It needs to sit for about 10 minutes to get you fully numb. It's a very strong numbing medicine. Numbing medicine. <laughs> Next levels. Scary. Ask me to say weird stuff. <laughs> say pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> so your job is to just relax, keep your blood pressure low. You can see how this lip heights more than this height. This is her narrower lip. This is her taller lip. And you can see more tooth shows on her left and right. Okay, here we go. Just a little bit right here. So I'll deep breath. Two. And cause more bruising stuff. So no kombucha tonight. Do you feel the needle or anything? No, I'm just looking at the sunset. <laughs> it's really pretty. Right. So we're gonna do a little <laughs> That looks gorgeous. So I'm gonna have you take a look and see what you think. Fillers are hydrophilic, which means they attract water, so they swell right away. Mm -hmm. What columns you have? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fill those and pout them out so it supports this ridge so it looks more natural. Okay. And you're gonna see this in about three days is when you judge the size. This one might hurt a little, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, 
done. And your lips will get more, a little more normal and you'll talk more normal when the numbing medicine wears off. Okay. How do you feel? I mean, I can't feel my face. Yeah. I just want to give a shout out to her for coming to be my emotional support. It wasn't, it was painless. It's, I feel like it's still scary though. Like, no, it's, it's scary. scary. You're never gonna needle to your face. I need my friends. Uh, how are you? I didn't tell my boyfriend. <laughs> so, it's been three weeks and they're at a perfect size but every day it's uh, settling into like a natural size which is awesome i'm really happy and you know i didn't have to go back for any dissolving or i didn't have to like add anything usually sometimes i've seen girls that come out and they're it's like really lumpy and they're not really happy so uh with dr gavami i i felt like he was so good <laughs> um at where to place um the full syringe in my lips without making it too much from the video he placed some here and then he you know really focused on using these areas he just put a little bit here you can't really tell that i even used a full cc because i've seen full cc's on girls and and he put them in the right places i totally have 100 percent full trust in him so I wrote down three things that you absolutely should do. Number one, bring reference photos. Bring pictures of girls' lips that you like their shape. Maybe they have the same shape as you. Maybe they're the same ethnicity as you. Some girls really like that really big fake lip look, but I really wanted it to look natural. Um, and he was able to achieve that for me. Number two, be open-minded about the healing process. Your lips will get worse before they get amazing. So as he said, your lips will swell up almost immediately. Um, I actually had quite a bit of bruising, but that of course went away. And of course I was a little bit nervous about it. I was wondering if I got them too big because I couldn't really see the size of them because they were so swollen. I, I took a lot of care of my lips after. I iced my lip every single night, like direct ice over the lip and just running it over until the whole ice cube melted so post care is really important number three research your doctor i was stalking dr gavami's instagram i also located some people that i knew that went to him before i hit them up they gave their stamp of approval they said they absolutely loved him if you're unable to come and you know go to dr gavami i would suggest doing a lot of research and not taking that discount because you know sometimes it's going to be discounted work and that's not what you want to have on your face so firsthand my experience i loved him he made me very comfortable i trusted him with a full cc to my face i highly recommend him so if you guys are in the beverly hills area i highly suggest giving them a call making an appointment if you're really interested, asking him all the questions that you need if you are hesitant and on the fence. And hopefully um, this answers some of your guys' questions and about getting your lips done. I know that there were a lot of things that people don't talk about, which is why I really wanted to document this whole process. Please leave any questions down below. I will answer them. And I'm dropping two videos in one day. I mean, what am I, a YouTuber? I don't know. Hit that subscribe button, share to your friends, be kind, don't be mean. And I'll see you guys for my next vlog. I don't know when that's coming out, but this shit is a lot of work. See you later. Mwah.